Today I want to show you how to use OBS and BeatSheet to make it really smooth to run a video podcast and do it live. So this is the podcast that I um, did for a while. So we had a little countdown scene. So I've got loads of different scenes down here. It starts from blank, we've got graphics, we've got sort of a side-by-side -side talking scene. We've got little video clips that come in and then you know the overlays and stuff there's a blog post about how all of the audio hijack stuff works and how all of my scenes are laid out so i'm just going to show you the beat sheet stuff today and i'll defer you to this other video for the other stuff so if we just have a look here, here's us talking there's a little bit of background music going on but i I'm, I'm having to constantly remember which what is the next button i have to press and i'm going backwards and forwards and jumping around these scenes so what beat sheet does is just takes all of that guesswork all of that memory out and just lets you be yourself on camera and not worry too much so we just press play on here and then i'm going to use the stream deck foot pedal or you could use a stream deck button or you could use a keyboard shortcut just to go next previous through your through your segments so how do you get connected to obs the instructions will show you if you go into settings in beat sheet which is under beat sheet settings that's this screen it gives you the instructions on how to connect to obs so first we install the obs websocket plugin uh, which just gives you a way to remote control obs and then you need the connection info so you're going to go into tools in obs you're going to go obs websocket settings and that's going to give you the port number so 4455 and then it's going to give you the you know enable authentication is going to be there you're going to go show connect info and you're just going to copy that password and paste that in and now you're ready i'm going to unhide obs and we are going to see that it's it's pulled in all of the scene names and we can just select them here and step through them. So I, I did do this before. If it doesn't immediately show up, there, there'll be a button there with a little warning on it that says OBS and you just click that and that should make the connection work. So here's my sequence. So if I just press play, it's gonna select the blank scene and we go next and there's the title sequence and next. Hello, welcome to the Grand Podcast. And, and in fact, this, this even gives you a, a little overlay. So if you, you, you have a teleprompter, you can actually bring in that text in a transparent window on top of whatever else you're doing. You don't even have to learn your intro or anything like that. If I step through, I'll, I'll do it with my foot. We'll come to the next segment. We'll talk about our weeks. Here's a sort of little interstitial with some music. Here's the next segment. I'm just using my, my foot pedal and just clicking through. You can use a button, you can do, use the keyboard. The keyboard shortcut is command or right and we can just navigate through in beat sheet like that. So that's just a really straightforward way of just taking all that guesswork, all that remembering things, and, and it almost acts as a show producer for you. All you have to do is just press next, and you can set all that complex stuff up in advance and then not have to worry about it when you're live. So to use this, just go to squares.tv slash beatsheet. You can download it onto your Mac and just get started right now. There's a free trial that gives you like three segments to play about with, see if you can get it connected. If you ever need any help, there's a Discord server, there's like a little chat box, there's email, there's all sorts of different ways to get in touch with me if you just need a bit of help getting set up. And I just really hope this saves you a lot of time. I've had people say that it saved them like actually having to hire someone to do this. So if it's the sort of thing you're doing, then I think you'll find it really useful. Good luck. Good podcasting and I'll see you soon. Bye.